I'm in some desperate need for some sunglasses. I don't know why I haven't bought sunglasses. I'm actually in Utah right now. This is kind of an update video, so what have I been up to? Been growing a beard. Beard's at the awkward stage. Uh, I did take everyone's advice that is commented saying, don't live in the trailer, do not commute an hour and 15 minutes. I'm not going to do that. I've been full time in the van about 14 or 16 days, I think, something like that. I only stayed like three nights at the trailer. I, I put the video out and then was like, yeah, this commute's awful. I did like one or two days of commuting and I was like, that's awful. We're gonna live in the van full time. So that's what we're doing. So I've been working, sleeping in the van. I've been going to the gym, trying to get swole. Going to local gym by where I work and that's where I shower and that's where I lift. Oh, you can see the shadow of the tripod. I'm gonna try to get some of my strength and my mass back, but it's gonna be hard living in the van. Some people wanted me to go over some things that I have learned and I will go over quickly. I am in St. George, Utah. I went yard sailing this morning. I went, I went garage sailing, I went to some thrift stores, I went to some pawn shops. I'll do a haul of what I just bought. I'll show you guys after this. Oh yeah, what I learned. Don't assume somebody understands your form of communication. If you assume without explicitly saying things, you make an ass out of you and me. And I also learned it's not a good idea to bring my phone to work because I'm under pressure, like uh, especially starting a job. Like when I, I pulled my phone out to answer a message, I didn't want the bosses or the uh, other workers to like see me on my phone, so I guess I shouldn't have done it anyways. I'm supposed to be working, I'm not supposed to be on my phone. The way Facebook works is like once you see a message, somebody sees that you saw the message and then if you don't respond at all, it's rude, but if you don't respond entirely reading the message and like putting a thoughtful response into it rather than, hey, I'm at work, it's also rude. So it's just not a good idea for me to bring my phone to work and to assume that, hey, I'm at work means hey, I can't get to this right now, I'm at work, I can get to it later. Really, people just think it means, hey, I'm at work, I don't care about what you're talking about. Assume makes an ass out of you and me. Number two I learned was, so this dude named Warren Jeffs, he is a fundamentalist, Latter-day Saints, FLDS fundamentalist, and he is a leader of a polygamy sect of the Latter-day Saints of the Mormons. And they live in this place called Colorado City, which isn't that far from where I'm working. I drove through it last night and I saw all of these gigantic mansions, like really big square buildings where these multi-family men who have multiple wives, Warren Jeffs had I think like 60 or 70 wives. He has hundreds of children. And now he's in prison for sexual reasons. I had no idea any of this stuff existed. I learned about it at work. I looked it up, I read about it, and I will also leave a link in the description to the Wikipedia if you want to read about it yourself. It's really interesting, especially because I drove through the city and saw the buildings. The women don't talk to normal people. I heard that they'll just ignore you. They dress in pastel colors, kind of like Mennonites. Uh, I saw some of them at Horseshoe Bend, but I didn't speak to any of them. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I figured I'd share it with everybody. I also learned about these things called skinwalkers. It's a Navajo type of witchcraft where from what I had heard, somebody kills a loved one in order to get to this power of shape-shifting. It's kind of like a werewolf that the witch will turn into like a coyote or something, wreak havoc and cause problems for people, and basically change bodily form. It sounds demonic, sounds witchcrafty. There's so many stories and lore about it in the Navajo culture, and I have worked with Navajo. I'd never heard that word before, so I looked it up this time and uh, learned some things. We'll also leave a link in the description to that Wikipedia on skinwalkers. It's pretty scary stuff, definitely sounds demonic. We're gonna stay away from that. What else happened? Oh, I dropped my phone, so I have an entirely cracked screen. Although I have a screen protector, my screen did not survive because it was a terrible fall straight down onto a hard floor like that, bam, crack the heck out of my screen. I need to order a new LCD, I don't have an address, so somehow I'm going to have to get a screen. Um, so that's an issue that I'm having right now, my screen is broken. Another thing I learned was how to burn a candle. There is a proper way to burn a candle. You're not supposed to burn a candle for more than four hours, you're supposed to trim the wick to like a quarter of an inch, and some other things that I can't really remember. I will put a link to how to burn a candle in the description if you're curious on how to burn a candle. But, been actually sleeping pretty well in the van, believe it or not. So I got curtains all around. I We'll do a van tour one day, I don't know when, not today. Today we're going to do a uh, thrift haul real quick of what I bought today and over the last couple days from some of the uh, thrift stores. So that's probably what people are interested in, so I'll show that off 
right now. Most of these are bolos anyways, so if you see them, yeah, you can make money off them. Logitech C910 is a 1080p webcam. It was five bucks, got it from a garage sale this morning. Should sell for some pretty good money on Amazon or eBay. Pokemon Emerald, we got this from a yard sale this morning for a dollar. Should sell for, I haven't looked it up, it should be like 25 or $30 game. Also in the category of green, Poison Christian Dior Paris, made in France, Eau de Toilette. Perfume smells, but perfume also sells. That one's actually never been used, but used bottles can sell too because sometimes smells will be discontinued and they're worth really good money. Uh, picked up three GameCube games from a yard sale this morning, Turok Evolution, Evolution Worlds, and Soul Calibur 2, a dollar a piece. We'll throw those up on eBay for like 30 bucks as a lot. We got some new hiking shoes, some Vibram Five Finger Aquatics uh, amphibious style shoes. Uh, they do have some wear on the sole, but they don't have a smell. They were five bucks. I got them from the Deseret Industries here in St. George. And I'm gonna be using these as my new hiking shoes when I do some amphibious hikes or uh, slot canyon hikes when I'm gonna be like walking through water or whatever because I really don't have watery shoes. So I'll be using these and then maybe posting them to sell them after, I don't know. Sony charger, this was a dollar. It goes to a camcorder, one of the newer camcorders. Uh, I will throw this in my cargo topper and whenever I find said camcorder that this fits to or I'll just bring it back to Florida because I always need these when I find camcorders that don't have. Got some books. I'm actually still reading the Dale Carnegie, The Leader in Me. I'm almost done with it. I'm on, I'm on chapter 13. There's only like this much left. I will finish this in a couple of days. But I did get some of these from a thrift store. I got the, these actually in Page. The Boggle Heads Guide to Investing and Swiss Family Robinson. I've never read this, but it looks like a pretty epic adventure. Exercising my creativity muscle in my brain by reading some fiction and then learning how to invest with this. We got an OGO locker bag. This was six bucks from the Desiree industry. Uh, this one's actually like never been used that much. I'm gonna be using this for organizational purposes in the van. It has a bunch of little slots for things. It's actually got a comb and a mirror so I could comb my hair if I please. So this is kind of an organizational item just because I don't really have a, con a lot of containers and organizational pieces for the van. I picked up this Jan Sport made in the USA, super small duffel. Picked it up for $4 or $5 from a Savers in Flagstaff. Um, speaking of Savers in Flagstaff, I want to do a, a thrift meetup in Flagstaff. If you're in Arizona or in Phoenix or whatever, drive up the flag. I think we're gonna hit a bunch of thrift stores. We'll start off at the Savers and then we'll work our way around the city and then we'll grab lunch or something. And that'll be fun. I will post it in the comments, but yeah, um, if you're in the area, we will meet at Savers. So the Savers, there's only one Savers. I think it's on like the north or the east side. We'll thrift, and then we'll grab some lunch. It'll be fun. See you there. All right, what else did I buy? Um, got these yard sailing this morning. Some Yakima uh, bicycle fork mounts. There's six of them in this box. Six of them in this box. Two of them on this piece of wood that I need to figure out how to get off. So basically, you uh, take your front wheel off, and it, it cams down into this to hold your bicycle. And you mount this like onto the top of a van or in the back of a truck or something. Cobra 29LX. CB radio, it's still got the screen protector on it. $4.99 from the Savers and Flagstaff. And that should go for like 80 to 100. Got some coach purses, they are leather. From as much as I can tell, they're real. The lady at the thrift shop said, from as much as I can tell, they are real. Gucci purse, this I think was a trombone. I don't think this one is real, this was $20. The stitching is good for the most part, but there are some slight imperfections. Taking a closer look, the lady at the thrift said that somebody had dropped off a bunch of really nice purses. She looked like she had a bunch of money and she's like, yeah, I have no I, no reason to think any of them were fake. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get to work really fast. Here's $20, I'll take the purse. Think of it as a donation. If it turns out to be fake. If anyone out there wants a, um, a very, very nice replica Gucci purse that uh, looks like alligator skin, let me know. You can have first dip. Got some leather belts. Here's a turkey one. That was $3. This one's just kind of like a simple leather belt like that. And then I got this one. This was a dollar. I'm using this one for myself. I like the print on it, the tribal print. Two pairs of Z-Coil shoes. I believe these were in the 100 Amazing Items to Resale guide. These were $3 a piece and they should sell for like 40 to 50 bucks a pair. Um, I will put a link to that guide in the description if you're interested in that. It's like 100 items that we kind of 
wrote and published about that we uh, commonly sell, sell pretty well. It's an easy way to get started and it might have some bolos in it that you've never heard of, I don't know. Check it out. Vintage Everlast weighted speed gloves. There's some weights in here. And they're actually kind of dusty. I don't know why I just put them on. They're kind of nasty, but you, you, you punch the, uh, Speed bags, 1970s dusty powder coming out of it. Those were 50 cents. They should sell for 25 to 30 bucks. I got a steam controller. This sucker is like brand new. Paid 15 for it, but it should sell for like 50 to 60. Got an HP 12C calculator for 50 cents. These are always good. I got a vintage red, white, and blue bicycle jersey with two button pockets on the back. It says it's made in Mexico, which is kind of weird because it's definitely a vintage style. It's acrylic and it's really 80, probably like 70s looking, I think, which blows my mind that it was made in Mexico. Paid like 50 cents for that, that's gonna go on Etsy. Last but not least, for 10 bucks, I got some Yakima uh, roof rack with locks with a ton of mounts. The mounts themselves can go for good money depending on the type, and I don't even know if there's anything in this box. There might be, there might not be. But yeah, this was 10 bucks. That's pretty much my haul for this weekend. I'm trying not to buy a ton of stuff, but I still wanna be able to um, at least make some money mailing out some packages while I'm out here, you know? If I see something cheap that's worth some money, it's really hard not to buy it. I appreciate everyone for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any encouraging comments or amazing finds or sales that you wanna share with me, I'd be more than happy to hear it. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video. It'll probably be an update video. I'm still looking for a backpack before I can go like rad hiking with. I wanna go do some really cool hikes, but I need to get a backpack and a water bladder. And I'm too stingy and cheap to go buy one new. Keep a lookout for that. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.